If you've ever visited a school cafeteria at lunchtime, you know that healthy choices are not always the first items that land on the kids' plate. And getting kids to eat healthy is not always an easy job. Well, here in Wisconsin, area schools are getting a little extra help from local chefs and fresh ingredients from the farm. Hi, everybody. Hey. I'm Chef Liz with Reap, and today we're going to make a soba noodle salad. It's a cold salad. Um, Elizabeth Chapa is giving Japan. these Wisconsin seventh graders a class in the art of cooking, and she's using so some specific salad. ingredients. So here's the spinach, and all I want you to do is kind of rough chop it. Doesn't have to be really small. Most of the foods in her recipes are farm fresh vegetables grown within a hundred miles of the school. We live in, a, in an age of a lot of single parent households and it's rush, 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 go, go, go. And I think that what we bring to the kids is an opportunity to slow it down, make a meal with local healthy ingredients and show that it can be easy. Do you think the kids enjoy it? Do you think they're learning? I do. I do. I think that we expose them to vegetables and some cooking techniques that maybe they don't see at home. And for a lot of them, I think it entices them to want to pursue cooking as a career in the future. And the garlic. And when you finish, you don't always have to use all the dressing. You know what I mean? Put a little bit, toss it all together, see if it needs more. Here, all the ingredients are right here, so and they're all lined up here for you. This class in Madison, Wisconsin, is part of the National Farm to School Program, organized and administered here by Wisconsin's REAP, or REAP Food Group, which stands for Research, Education, Action, and Policy. And it's not a demo, it's really the kids being able to get in there and chop the vegetables and cook them and then um, share a meal with their friends and the guest chef and celebrate food and learn some new skills and usually try some new things. Okay. More than 100 yes, students are involved in the cooking class, which allows the youngsters to prepare and then enjoy their culinary creations. We have like all these different kind of recipes that are really, really good that the kids get to make. So the different types of vegetables and fruits that they're not familiar with, um, that really gives them an insight of just like realize that there are a lot of different types of vegetables and fruits out there instead of just carrots or just corn or just strawberries. Yes. Joey Dunscombe is the executive chef of the Weary Traveler restaurant in Madison. He's also another contributor to the Chef in the Classroom program. He says it's been a rewarding experience. Like teaching the kids now, I mean, they're just going to grow into that. You know, hopefully my kids will be um, that group, you know, in, in that group of kids that says, no, like even at 16, like I'm going to go to the farmer's market, you know, or I'm going to, I brought this sandwich, it's got organic ham and cheese on it. You know, I'm not going to go to, uh, the local taco shop. I think I'm pretty good on veggie farmers right now. Okay. But if there's a place you can find me wild rice. Wild rice. Yes. Dunscombe is also active in another mm -hmm. REAP program. Okay, so their buy fresh, buy local project. Rice, it's it's something I can find sporadically locally. I've got one guy that picks it, but if I had a year round supply of it, that'd be awesome. Sure. Working um, with a yeah, REAP coordinator, he plans his menus around meat and produce he can obtain from local farms. You know, it's a full circle type of thing, you know, like it, we keep the money in this, in the neighborhood or at least in the community. I buy from farmers that in turn come and spend the money that I spent on their case of eggplant here on a pitcher of beer and some plates of food. With our current estimated numbers, we're over $3 million worth of local food being purchased from the farmer themselves. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, and in the program, we have a huge support. We have 37 different restaurants. Currently, we have two grocery stores, uh, one being the neighbor of the Willie Street Co-op right to the Weary. And then we also have two health care providers. And there's another aspect to the REAP program, culinary training for adults. Radishes, pretty dirty. Some of these folks are members of AmeriCorps, preparing fresh snacks for Madison's elementary school pupils. I really liked the concept of trying to get healthy local food into the schools and working with students who didn't necessarily have a background in growing food and gardening or in farming and 
kind of helping bring that understanding in of where our food comes from to them. We really like to think of it as a whole community approach that we have. We're buying product from farmers, you know, thereby helping increase the likelihood that the family farm can be a viable business model. REAP's Chef and Snack programs serve thousands of students in the Madison schools each week and provide a valuable market for fruits and vegetables from more than a dozen regional farms. Um, parents, teachers, children are all very receptive and our local farmers are really excited. It's always fun to you know, approach a farmer and explain what we're doing and talk to them and they're always so excited that their produce is going to feed kids in the schools. 